The shops of the Sefmash are a spy's dream, an allure for investigative journalists. They manufacture submarines. The technology is not so different from a Lego construction set, only each component weighs dozens and even hundreds of tons. Shop number five is a whole processing shop. It's like a tailor's shop, but instead of cloth, it uses sheet metal pieces up to 80 millimeters thick. Computerized cutters form the pieces, while presses give them the final shape. A blueprint of an outer hull alone consists of 200 to 300 components, and one can imagine how many tens of thousands of parts a full hull consists of. Then the blanks are sent to the hull assembly shop. There, workers weld sections and blocks into the body of a future submarine. Welding quality control is very strict. This shop has a camera for panoramic gammography. This process is like having your chest x-rayed. The welded seam is x-rayed by hard radiation, and the film shows any defect. The birth of the submarine takes place in the slipway shop. Submarine sections installed on a slipway train are welded into one solid hull. The hull is hydraulically tested for strength and then sectioned again. The boat is cut into modules, into which all the equipment is loaded. Separately a turbine and separately a nuclear reactor. The models will include all electronic and everyday equipment, including plumbing units. The modules are again welded into one solid hull, which is then covered with an outer hull. After all units and assemblies are checked, the submarine leaves the shop for the first time. As the shipbuilders say, it's the water. But it's too soon to say the submarine is finished, as there will be months of dockside and sea trials before the submarine enters combat duty.